So this is a, this is a kind of a, a, a popular question subject. How do you have compassion for unconsciousness when people, are, you know, what's unconsciousness? And people are just acting from ego. When they, when they treat you bad, maybe sometimes, there's a bunch of examples, but um, uh, treat you bad, maybe they're jealous. This happens in a workplace. You're feeling good, you're, you're, you're emanating some light. They wanna, they, wanna, they wanna hit that light. They're mad. Your light's reminding them of their own inner light, but they're not expressing it, and you are. And they don't wanna be reminded of that, so damn you. They're gonna, they're gonna find a way to try to make you miserable. They want you to feel miserable like them because they, the ego sees you as a threat. You're making them feel miserable by your presence. So, so they got to fight back, you know. It's like if somebody hits you, I got to hit them back. This is, this is how they interpret it. They don't know that. And that's a bad situation when you're in uh, <clears throat> the workforce, especially if somebody has, is in some position of power and you're not. You know, how many times has that happened? And then you get the bad end of the stick. They, you get tret bad and, and <clears throat> everything because they're... And you didn't even do anything. I used to just make people so uncomfortable and I didn't do anything. I would ask a question or something because I'm trying to understand my job because I wasn't good at working. I didn't understand what anybody's doing. I can't figure out... The, my mind didn't work like theirs. I just didn't... I just always got fired because I didn't know what... I, I just didn't understand. Like, what, 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 you know, didn't understand why I'm on this planet. It's like I'm in the wrong place. Nothing works. I'm just in trouble all the time with the teachers and jobs and everything. Military, that was the worst. I joined the Marine Corps. The, it was the most unmatching thing I could have ever done in my life. And then I left there and then became an actor in Hollywood. And that was a much better idea. Gave some balance. So how do you have compassion for these people when you're innocent? You know you're innocent. <clears throat> But yet you're getting tortured and punished for no reason. Or, or even it can happen on the street. Or you're at, a, you're at a store. You're buying something. The clerk's mad at you because maybe they're having a hard day. You're trying to be nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, how's your day? Uh, they get mad. At, they, they don't want to hear that. Um, family. A lot of unconsciousness in family. Relationships, you know. Even Friends. You know, if you, people get addicted to each other. It's like we're, we're used to handing out, and so now we're supposed to hand out all the time. Don't do that. Don't do that. You got to follow this divine uh, flow of life force. Let it guide you and show you what to do. You can't cultivate spiritual qualities. Compassion, patience, love. How are you going to practice or cultivate love? What does that mean? <laughs> You say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be spiritual today. I'm going to practice love. So I'm going to go out. When I leave the house, I'm going to write on my, my flash card, practice love and patience. Okay. So I'm going to go outside, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smile. I see some, I'm going to give them love. How are you doing today? Yeah. <laughs> this is, it, 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 it's not organic, right? Do I got to say it? Or if you, you, you don't like long lines, <coughs> you're at a post office and, <clears throat> and the people are, you know, the mind says, God, just why you take so long? Like it's easy. Like you can see how to fix the problem, but you don't work there, so you can't fix it. So you got to wait. You, you can see when the person's trying to explain to the post office person, they don't understand what, what, what they're saying. You're like, no, they're not saying that. They're saying this. Can I just translate for everybody? <laughs> the mind does that. And so, you know, because you can make it done maybe a couple minutes as opposed to just sitting here 15, 20 minutes until they finally are on the same page and then they can get it done because people's minds are so different. They're usually out to lunch. They're thinking about other stuff, trying to listen to somebody, and they don't really want to be there listening anyway, and then so they can't understand each other. <coughs> All these situations, man, this is what happens in life. So how do you, how do you be patient? Like, what do you, what do you, how are you going to practice that? Say, okay, I'm going to count to 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, you, if you practice these things, you're going to get tired. It's not like, oh, I'm going to keep practicing, practicing, and then all of a sudden I'm just going to be 
I'm going to, you know, like if I'm practicing love, I'm smiling. And then at some point, the smile is just going to become permanent. And I'm just going to turn into love because I've practiced so hard. These, these qualities you can't practice. That has to happen organically. It, happen, it happens naturally. And then automatically you have compassion. Automatically. S- several months ago, this was the last incident I can remember where things almost got physical. I, uh, I'm in Ecuador. It was hot. My shirt's off. I'm walking back to my house. I passed by this like mechanic place. Somebody was standing outside and he said something in Spanish like, hey, asshole, put your shirt on or something. I was feeling good, actually, at the time. I was cool. Old habits and scars, patterns, habit, whatever, activated. My Marine Corps. You talking to me, man? And uh, what did I say? I, I don't know what I said. I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't get too bad with it. I said something, you know, you know like whatever. Like, you know, I said something. And then uh, I might have said F you. <laughs> I don't know. And then <clears throat> he went into the, he went into his garage. He acted like he was going to get something, you know. I'm like, all right. And so I opened my bag. I had my backpack. I act like I'm going to get something. I had something. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> it got diffused, you know. So then I went home and I'm like, what the hell just happened? See, that's the thing. If you're, on, if you're really devoted to the spiritual path, you, you face your karma pretty fast. You say you can't because you're, you're, you're not dull. You're, you're, if you're constantly doing the, 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 your inner looking and, and, and being conscious of consciousness, and if that's your, your practice, you're not just meditating for an hour in the morning and at night. You're, your meditation's full on all the time, as much as you can remember. If that's the case, then your the karma, negative karma can get expiated really quick. And so I was just like, damn it, I got to go make amends for, <clears throat> for that. Because I don't want to carry that. When, you're, uh, when you know how it feels to be, you can say, spiritually clean or your heart and mind's clean, you want to get rid of uh, garbage, you know. So then I, <laughs> I went out to go find him. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a trip. <clears throat> I don't think he's going to be expecting uh, the guy that he almost got in a fight with to come back and say he's sorry. Probably won't even believe me, but whatever. God's with me. I'm doing what I know should be done. And Grace had it to where I couldn't find him. He was gone. I said, oh, cool. But I was willing, you see. Uh, how does that tie into having compassion? So I was late. I had the compassion, but it was late. That's why I went back out to make uh, apology also. Because when I, when I got home and reflected, I said, wait a minute, man. He's having a hard day. He's, he's obviously feeling miserable. Who knows? Maybe he's jealous. And you, There's so many things. But obviously, that was pain. That was pain speaking when he, when he was derogatory toward me. Is that how you treat somebody that's sick? Do you retaliate? <clears throat> that can't be a mental deduction in the moment. It has to flow organic. There's not enough time in the moment when, when things flare up to say, okay, wait a minute, what's the right spiritual principle to practice? No, this has to be built in your character. And it just happens, you see. It, this is the benefit of spiritual practice. This is what a spiritual practice d- dissolves the ego so that these natural organic qualities shine through automatically. You can't cultivate them. When, we're, when the consciousness, the localized consciousness, is more at one and recognize its source, itself, which is pure, which is formless, so the form-based consciousness recognizes its own essence, which is formless, that's real yoga when this fusion is just constantly doing that. There's this constant merging. With, you're merging with your own self. The benefit of that is it bleeds through this virtual reality software. Mental body, emotional body, physical body. It purifies the, the channels. The life force is flowing. Everything. So... So then the localized consciousness in this human form is a better reflection of this pure, you can say, essence. 
When that's the case, then all these good qualities, they, they flower naturally. You don't have to work on them. You can't work on them anyway. It doesn't work. <laughs> that's another trap from the ego. The ego, the ego is saying, yeah, I'm, I, I'm going to... <clears throat> um, it takes everything and tries to do it itself. The, 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 the whole thing is the ego has to be, we have to let go of it, relinquish it. And then the ego will try to do that too. It's like, yeah, yeah, I got to let go of the ego so that then I can, I can, you know. So it's, it's, it's hard. You can't articulate this thing perfectly. But this pointing can help. All these natural qualities that are, you can say, spiritual or benevolent or that serve the human race, they're already made. We already have them. You can't, you can't find them. I mean, you can't cultivate them or practice something enough to where then the quality appears. It doesn't work like that. We forget ourselves, this ego self, more and more through the spiritual practice, through this, this constant intuition will guide. It'll show just how to kind of relinquish ourselves more and more. <clears throat> and then what's left is, you can say, our higher self. Higher self has all these qualities. It comes with the package. It's 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 prepackaged. Isn't that a good deal? Because this is how are you gonna you know that's a lot of work to to try to practice love, be love, you know. So relax, relax at the same time. Stay vigilant, and then this 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 happens like that. Hope you enjoyed that video. See you.